book I have for you this time is kind of small, but super amazing because it's about amazing buildings that are super big and tall. It was written by Kate Hayden, and it features some of the buildings that we've talked about in school and some that I hope you're really interested in after we finish this story. Now imagine a building, an amazing building. Does your building stand up tall or does it spread out wide? Is your building new with lots of shiny windows or is it old and made of stone? Do you know how buildings are made? Well, a big city like this has all kinds of buildings. There are tall buildings, wide buildings, office buildings, apartment buildings, and more. There are weird and wonderful buildings all over the world. They are built to be both useful and fun to look at. The pyramids in Egypt were built over 4,000 years ago. These monuments were made as burial sites for Egyptian kings and their treasure. To build the pyramids, workers had to drag heavy stones up a ramp one by one, and the pyramids were built to last for a long time. The ancient Romans built a massive stadium called the Colosseum. The Romans were the first to use concrete to make buildings, and the Colosseum was an oval-shaped building it seated up to 50,000 people. The Romans loved to watch trained fighters called gladiators battle each other. Cheers and boos from the crowd made echoes all around the stadium. That's the Colosseum. Parts of it are still um, intact. Now this fairy tale castle perched on a craggy hilltop in Germany is called Noschwestein. No Schwestein. Earlier castles were built to protect people inside who could spy on approaching enemies from the tall towers. But Loschwanstein was built just to look beautiful, and it resembles a Disney castle for Cinderella quite well. One of the world's biggest palaces is at Versailles in France. It has over 2,000 windows, 1,200 fireplaces, and 67 staircases. It also has a hall of mirrors at Versailles. When the palace was built 300 years ago, mirrors were very rare. Visitors were amazed to see their reflections. The Eiffel Tower in Paris is made of iron. It was the tallest building in the world when it was built in 1889. In those days, it was unusual to make buildings out of metal. Since then, metal has been used to make buildings taller and taller. The tallest buildings of all are called skyscrapers because they seem to touch the sky. The two Petronas Towers in Malaysia are the tallest skyscrapers in the world at 1,483 feet. Each tower has 88 floors. Visitors can walk from one building to the other on the sky bridge. It takes a whole month to, whole month to clean all the windows in one tower. This looks awful, like, awful lot like um, the Somerset Collection Mall that we have here in Troy. Some buildings have big round roofs called domes. Now the dome on Florence Cathedral in Italy was difficult to build. Builders had to make another dome inside the cathedral to support the huge outer dome. Now workers walk through passages between the inner and outer domes. And the dome on St. Basil's, St. Basil's Cathedral in Russia are called onion domes. Have you ever seen a building in the shape of a ball? The round building in this picture is called Spaceship Earth. It's at Epcot Center at the theme park in Florida. Over 11,000 triangles cover the surface to make it look perfectly round and white, like a huge golf ball. And if you see it at night, it lights up too. Now think of the amazing shapes of the other modern buildings. What do these buildings look like to you? The Sydney Opera House in Australia looks like billowing sails of a sailing boat, and the Guggenheim Museum in Spain may remind you of a large ship. So the Opera House in Australia is here, and this is the Guggenheim. Cool word to say, isn't it? Now look at this huge stadium. Australia um, Stadium Australia was built for the games of the 2000 Olympics. It was designed to be friendly to the environment. That means it uses less electricity for lights and air conditioning. The stadium has big tanks to collect rainwater that falls from the roof, and the rainwater is recycled to water the field or even to flush the toilets. Where can you grow bananas indoors? Well, in a giant greenhouse. At the Eden Project in England, the latest technology is used to create habitats from around the world. Even when it's cold and dry outside, the weather is hot and damp inside the humid tropics biome. 
jungle plants grow is if they're in the middle of a rainforest. Now, one of the most amazing modern buildings is way out in space. All of the parts for the International Space Station come from Earth on board the space shuttle. Who knows what other amazing buildings may be built in the future. So if you're a student checking this out in Flipgrid and you want to make an amazing building, it can resemble one of the ones that I showed you here in the book, or it can be from your imagination. And if you'd like some more inspiration and you haven't already read it, uh, check out If I Built a House. It's pretty neat too. Stay well.